Well, hello there. John Blunt again. Uh, this video is both a teaching video and evidence that we need that good video equipment. I'm going to show you how to work with this flexible wood uh, to make tiny little art. For this project, you're going to need the flexible wood, one of our little jewels, French curve, sandpaper, and a razor knife. Before I do anything else, I, I like to do a little sketching, and so I'm just going to throw up a design. Let's we'll see what happens. I kind of like to play with that shape. And maybe we're going to put a, another two pieces together. So I want to do something like this. And maybe I'm going to curl them around so that I can have a place to put the jewel. Which you really don't have to have. But in this case, I think that's what I want to try out. I'll show you to you. Okay, now step two. I'm going to mark the, the piece of of wood. It's very, very flexible and organic. To cut this cold bending hardwood, ash in this case, you put the French curve back on the line that you marked when, that you put there when you marked it, and you start with a really light touch so you don't have any run out. Okay, they're cut out and they are ready for sanding. Yeah. Now I said you got a very fair curve. It's all relative. And you're probably going to want to improve the smoothness of that curve. You can wrap a piece of sandpaper around a piece of scrap material and make yourself an instant bent piece of Sandpaper made to smooth any little bad spots, any lumps in the curve. Okay, I want to do the other side. I just flip it around, adjust it a little bit, and clear that section. And pieces. Smooth the edges, and your pieces are ready for bending. That's the fun part. Okay, I have a little advice on bending it. One, the radius only goes so far. Uh, it's the radius you can get is about five times the thickness. So the the tightest you're going to get with this 16th inch material is a diameter of 10 sixteenths, which is 5 eighths. That's very tight. Now when you bend it, if it's going to fail, it'll fail by splitting the fibers like this on the outside of the curve. So as you, if you're doing a tight bend, good idea to get your, keep your fingers behind that bend. So you're helping support the outside of it. And then, when you start to get there, you can lighten up a little bit about it. A little experimentation required. That should be a pretty clear idea of one of the things that you can do with this cold bending hardwood. If I got you fired up and you're ready to start a cottage industry, I know where you can get more. Look for Pure Timber, Gig Harbor, Washington, our neighbor. And the man who runs that place is just as friendly as you can be. 
That's all. That's all I got to say except for one thing. Kriga, Bundalo!